Samir's farewell address. Then Samir addressed the people again. I have done as you asked and given your king. I have selected him ahead of my own son and I stand here an old great hair man. I have served as your leader since I was a boy. Now tell me as I stand before the road and before his anointed one, whose ox or donkey have I stolen? Have I ever cheated any of you? Have you ever oppressed you? Have I ever taken a bribe? Tell me, and I will make right whatever I have done wrong. No, they reply, you have never cheated or oppressed us in any way, and you have never taken any a single bribe. The Lord and his anointed one are my witness. Samuel declared that you can never accuse me of robbing you. Yes, it is true, they replied. It was the Lord who appointed Moses and Aaron. Samuel continued, he brought your ancestor out of the land of Egypt. Now stand here quietly before the Lord as I remind you of all the great things the Lord has done for you and your ancestors. When the Israelites were in Egypt and cried out to the Lord, he sent Moses and Aaron to rescue them from Egypt and bring them into this land. But the people soon forgot about the Lord their God, so left them be conquered by Sisera, the general of Hazar's army, and by the Palestine and the king of Moab. Then they cried to the Lord and again and confessed, we have sinned by turning away from the road and worshipping the image of Bear and Athoros. But we will worship to you and you alone. If you will rescue us from our enemies, then the road sent Gideon, Barak, and Jebethas, and Samuel to save to you. You lived in safety. But when you are afraid of Nahas, the king of Ammon, you came to me and said that you want a king to reign over you, even though the Lord your God are, was already your king. All right, here is the king you have chosen. Look him over. He asked you to him, and the Lord has granted you request. Now, if you will fear and worship the Lord and listen to his voice, and if you do not rebel against the Lord's commands, and if you and your king follow the Lord, Lord your God, then will be will be well. But if you rebel against the Lord's commands and rescue to listen to him, then his hands will be as heavy upon you as it was upon your ancestor. Now stand here and see the great thing the Lord is about to you. You know that it does not rain at this time of year, of the year during the wheat harvest. I will ask the Lord to send thunder and rain today. Then you will realize how wicked you have been in asking the Lord for a king. So Samuel called to the Lord and the Lord sent thunder and rain. And all the people were terrified of the Lord and were Samuel. Pray to the Lord your God for us. We will die. They cry out to Samuel for now we have added to our sin by asking for a king. Don't be afraid. Samuel assured them you have certainly done wrong, but make sure now you are worship the Lord with all your heart and you don't turn your back of him in any way. Don't go back to worshiping or silly the idol and cannot help or rescue. They really are unless the Lord is will not abandon his chosen people, for that would dishonor his great name. He made you a special nation for himself. As for me, I will certainly not sin against the Lord by ending my prayer for you, and I will continue to teach you that. What is good and right, but be sure to fear the Lord and sincerely worship Him. Think of all the wonderful things He has done for you. But if you continue to sin, you and your king will be destroyed. Continue the war and with Plastia. Saul was 30 years old when he became king and he raised 
reigned for 42 years, so selected 3,000 special troops from the army of Israel and sent the rest man home.